science class 6 chapter 6 changes around us hello children this is the video on changes around us of your ncrt science textbook in this video i am going to explain you about changes around us what is change its causes and effects and type of changes so let's start the chapter Change. Change is the law of nature. Everything changes around us and many changes are taking place around us on their own. Morning gives way to day and then evening falls. Seasons changes and along with it our lifestyle. In, in the fields, the crops change from time to time. Flowers bloom, wither and fall and so do leaves in trees. So we can say that change is an act by which a thing forms and becomes different from its previous self. For example, when ice melts, it changes into water. Therefore, it turns its form from solid to liquid. Things around us are changing continuously. As you can see in these pictures, our day-to-day -day activities like cutting, crumping, grinding, bending, etc. also bring about many changes. Change in height. You can, you can compare your present appearance with your photograph as a toddler. You can see that how much you have changed since those days. We observe many changes in our surrounding like burning of wood, cutting of paper, inflating a balloon etc but what are the causes behind these changes and what are the effects so let's discuss about this there is a cause cause for every little change changes can be brought about by applying pressure heating or cooling and mixing if we apply pressure on dough it changes its shape if we heat or cool any liquid, it changes its state. And if we mix two and more than two substances, this also brings about a change. We can identify a change by the effect it produces. The object or the substance undergoing a change may show a change in its shape and size, color, properties, state and position position like the length of a pencil reduces with its usage when we cook the properties of the substance undergo a change when an iron rod is heated it turns red hot thus we can see the change in color when ice melts it changes into water therefore it turns its state from solid to liquid Expansion and contraction. Metals expand on heating and contract on cooling. To understand this, let's know about what is expansion and what is contraction. Expansion is the process where a material grows in size on being heated. On the other hand, contraction is an action where size of an object is reduced when it is cooled. This can be viewed as opposite of expansion. To understand it more clearly, let's see the picture which is showing that the metal ball easily passes through the rim before heating as the size of the ball is smaller than the size of the rim. But if the metal ball is heated, it will expand and the ball will not pass through the rim. After some time, the ball regain its size on cooling. Have you seen tools used for digging soil such as a spade? We use the same principle of expansion for fitting the handles of these tools into their metal rings. Like fixing the metal rims on a wooden wheel of a cart. In this process, the metal rim is made, sli made slightly smaller than the wooden wheel. On heating, the rim expands and fits onto the wheel. 
After this, cold water is poured over the rim which contract and fits tightly onto the wheel. And this is how metal rim is fixed on a wooden wheel. The another very common example of expansion on heating is seen in railway tracks. Small gaps are left between the railway tracks. This is done to allow space for expansion in summer. The changes around us can be classified into various types and these are natural and man-made changes, slow and fast changes, periodic and non-periodic changes, desirable and undesirable changes, reversible and irreversible changes, physical and chemical changes. So here we are mainly going to discuss about reversible and irreversible changes. So what is a reversible change and what is an irreversible change? Let's discuss about both these type of changes. Reversible changes, the changes that can be reversed or are temporary conversion are reversible changes. In such kinds of changes, one substance is modified into another form, but a new substance is not formed or we can say a, say a change in which the initial substance can be obtained back by reversing the action as we can see these pictures in which on heating substance gets melt and on cooling we get back the original substance irreversible changes a change is called irreversible if it cannot be changed back again or a change in which the initial substance cannot be obtained back by reversing the action. Irreversible changes are permanent changes. In an irreversible change, new material or new substance is always formed. Like baking. Baking gives us new substance which cannot be reversed. So here are some irreversible changes like baking a cake, frying an egg, burning of a paper into ash and smoke, metal rusting, mixing cement with water. There are some changes which are reversible as well as irreversible. Like when a candle burns, we can observe both reversible and irreversible change. We observe reversible change when a wax melts, as the molten wax can be solidified again. And we observe irreversible change when the burning of wax takes place. When the wax burns, we observe some fumes and gases coming out of it which cannot be reversed. So students, here are some pictures which you have to identify as reversible or irreversible change. Watch this video carefully again and when we have class, we will solve all the doubts. I hope this portion of, of the chapter is clear to you all. Thank you.